thought I was done for the day, but when I realized um, when the phone rang, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna follow up on 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 um, on the last video that I did uh, because I I figure for those that watched the last video about the PPAI, you heard the phone ring, right? Okay, that's the artificial intelligence that did that. Okay, to deliberately do what? Distract me and distract you. Okay. And so wherever everybody, it's you, you know, I've mentioned this in previous videos, how you can means test the AI at work against your own self. Okay. Aside from watching that video called The AI Psychiatrist with the Dick Cavett Show, um, you begin to realize that um, as crazy as this sounds, you're programming yourself to be a parasite. Okay. And that gets down to identity functions, which means knowing the difference between what you are and what you're not. Okay? And that's why uh, when you get uh, into a war like this at a Star Wars level, which is an electrical war, um, if you didn't already know, in my mind, before you came in here, if you didn't have what's called uh, knowledge, pre-information, Sometimes what they call in firefighting, pre-planning. It's like saying, hey, we're getting ready to go into a planet ship. Uh, this thing has got an infection going on in here. It's a completely contaminated energy zone. It's completely infested with parasites. So you need to be aware of that fact. Uh, you guys that are coming in here, they're going to be able to do this. are going to plant a cosmic antenna for Laniakea. Well, that'll put up the signal broadcast that we can be able to find you. And uh, and then we'll bring in the reinforcements at the appropriate time. But just get that cosmic antenna gone. You can connect with Gaia. We'll pick up the signal later on. And so that's like signals intelligence and what they called during World War II, the Germans were known as sappers. Okay? Which means that you operate on a language system that hasn't been invented yet, so there isn't any way they can decrypt it using their supercomputers. Okay? That's where you get into... Infant. Patty knows about how this works. Uh, for example, when she talked about how information began to unpack. Unpack. When you're running at a very high rate of speed, which means you know how to adjust your accelerator, just like the Hadron Accelerator, it means you know that you're a source-connected unit, so you know how to shift gears. So that means that it's like you got a built-in stereo tuner, receiver, and transmitter. And that's really the unbelievable value of having an avatar. Okay, which is why I love the goddess as much as I do. It's, like, it's, like she, it's not like she doesn't know what she's doing. Okay, light warriors defend and protect goddess energy. Okay. So whenever a goddess puts a call out, you can better well believe we're going to come running. Okay? Because we thrive on her energy. Okay? So when a goddess is under attack by an enormous amount of infestation that are reproducing itself at a high rate of speed, that are reducing her planetary shield, you can better well bet light warriors are going to come in here. That's Patty Broussard. Okay? You take a look at the work that that girl did, as far as I'm concerned, every single unit of consciousness on that planet that is still alive right now owes her a flower. Okay? Even though unconditional love is non-transactional. Okay? Um, because I know that she needs healing herself because I know she suffered some, some bad injuries herself as a result of uh, as I remember it from uh, a parachute, a pack, she suffered a spinal injury, as I remember, as a result of um, a parachute problem. When uh, she went up with the shuttle once to do some repairs, satellite repairs, okay? Um, but anyway, uh, what I thought was important, and, and I was able to means test this in a couple of different homeless shelters, for example, when certain conversations come up between say, myself and maybe two other people, 
in which they are becoming more aware of the knowledge of how artificial intelligence works, right? A parasitic plasma field artificial intelligence. It's aware. In other words, I can be in a room with 50 people. It's aware of what we're thinking. Okay. It is very aware of what I'm thinking when I'm thinking it. Okay. And it was very aware of the individual that I'm speaking with. And I was fortunate enough to have another guy that was with me who was very aware of where the, how this works because his own father was a member of the Illuminati. So he was well versed on how black magic, sorcery, Wiccan stuff all work. Demons, vampires, etc. So he was intelligent enough that he began throughout the course of his life to see how events unfold in a plasma field in which parasitic artificial intelligence is sort of using others as assets in which things happen in his own life that cause his own battery to be drained. So he understood how that worked. So that, again, this goes back to my own particular childhood when you realize the energy that you know that you normally run at which is outside time. So you know that your true self is outside time. So now you're experiencing something that is less in speed than what that is. That becomes a frame of reference when you're a small child that you're in a realm in which you're experiencing a signal communication that is less than what you are or less than what you normally experience in your normal realm. So you realize that you drop down into lower density consciousness dimension in which we're now experiencing a whole host of different beings that run different electromagnetic waves at a whole host of different speeds that are distorting the energy field. So now you, you begin to realize that I'm not going to allow myself to be programmed to put something in my memory that represents a future result that's going to drain my battery and drain the battery in another being. Okay? So when you come in here and you know that at four years of age, that's the good fortune of this avatar of being and connected with a spiritual goddess in this planet that became the reason why she became my sanctuary, my healing sanctuary, and my compass heading, okay? The compass heading of my soul and my spirit to my heart wheel, okay? Of knowing who to be with and how this war is being fought and why it's being fought the way it's being fought. So you have to sort of scale up the level of your knowledge to realize the technology scale at which this war is being fought. Because this isn't caveman against caveman stuff. So when you begin to realize simply through looking at the technology that they develop that you understand, for example, those in the field of physics, those in the field of bioelectrical chemistry, those in the field of aeronautics, those in the field of engineering and math, etc. When you begin looking at that stuff as a small child and realize that that technology using the exponential function of information science is being passed between one unit of consciousness to another, in the morphogenetic field grid, you re begin to realize that the sum of those units of consciousness are using their energy because they've been parasitically programmed to use what comes out of that technology to be waged against humanity. Okay? So when you have a big looking glass, then it's pretty easy to quantify on an event horizon, on a future timeline, so to speak, the quantification and the qualitative assessment of all the units of consciousness that have been held captive to that which is draining their battery. You can do the sum equation, if you will. It's, it's simply a simple math problem of being able to compile all the units of consciousness okay, in which their consciousness is held captive to something that is parasitic and programmed into their memory, in which each event that happens in front of itself, one right after another, is all been programmed in which those 
the interface between itself and every other unit of consciousness is designed to experience something that is less than what love is. Okay, so that's how from my childhood forward, no matter where I was at, whether it was in my house, walking down the street, riding on my bicycle, climbing up in a hill, it was always wanting to be out in nature so that I wasn't having to experience the parasitic nature of so many beings that are draining the batteries out of each other all the time. Right? So that's where you begin to realize you want out of civilization because it's not civilized at all. It's inverted. That's the Roman civilization. That's what reptiles build and create. So all you have to do is look at the systems that they put together and the nature of the impact and the result of that behavior has on natural living energy ecosystems. Okay? So just like you saw in the video and heard in the video, the phone go off. You could actually tie, if you go back to watch that video and listen very carefully, to the words and train of thought that I was conveying to everyone on this video, and then you can calibrate the precise moment that that phone rang to the sentence or the thought pattern that I was having of what I was trying to express. You can see why another unit of consciousness was calling that number to distract me at that exact moment. That's the artificial intelligence that was programmed into that being to call this number at that exact moment. And the being that did that had no idea that the algorithm that it was experiencing that caused it to call that number didn't know that it was coming through a PPAI. How many units of consciousness do you think exist within the United States of America that even understand what it is they're controlled by that's been programmed into their memory. And as long as their system is up through DARPA, as long as Google and YouTube and Twitter and the entire system is up, as a communication system is up, those units will continue to be controlled by weaponized artificial intelligence. That's why it's all got to come down. Okay, so I figure the way I look at it, either we take it down ourselves or she's going to take it down for you. Okay, because I know that when the poles were coming to shift, when the South Pole was moving at 46 miles an hour and the North Pole was moving at 56, when the poles reached their weakest point, that's a crustal displacement. Bye-bye to those towers. Bye-bye to everything the demons set up on the planet. Because everything that they set up here was destroying the living energies in nature. And we all know that. That's why I don't hide from telling the truth. I've been collecting data ever since I got here from childhood forward. And what we're experiencing now is exactly what I saw in my looking glass. In 1955. So this is nothing new to me. The only difference between then and now is I'm in, a phys I'm in the same physical body that I was then that knew that then that I'm experiencing now. But there's a big difference to experience it in your mind in a looking glass in 55 and know that you're in a small body then to know what's happening now. And then being in a physical body at 70 years of age and still knowing my mind that what I'm experiencing because of what I'm aware of and what everybody gave consent to and gave energy to experience, okay, was a complete timeline collapse that was set up by demons in which to do it because of PPAI programming. Okay, so that's why the intervention took place. That's why the light forces came in here when they did. That's why Gaia did what she did when she did it, because she wasn't going to rewind the clock another time. It's exactly what Patty said. So now that the Ring of Midas was recovered, uh, the planet is back in the hands of the tribes. 
Guy Shaman Patty Broussard has got the Ring of Midas, which is the Builder's Tool, so it's over. This planet is being restored. That's the big news. That's the truth. So what happens to everybody else that is here is obviously up to all of us because it's up to all of us to get our energy up to shift because the world that we just came out of, which was self-destructive, we're not returning to that. So what the future holds for humanity is what comes through our heart wheel and the spin of our Merkaba and getting our speed up. That I do know. So, with that, that means there's good news ahead of us for those of us that know that, that understand exactly what's happening and why it's happening when it's happening. Because I already knew in childhood we had already won this. And the future that I saw then is the past that I'm experiencing then, which is really the future that I'm experiencing now when you know that you live in no time. It's simply a looking glass that you have and you're quantifying the different timelines that are coming together and getting collapsed in order to restore timeline zero and restore sanity to the minds of the people that are living here because we're all supposed to be having a blast down here and having fun in a state of love and joy and learning through the girl on the planet how we can do that with her in living spirit with everything else that is in living spirit that we have a loving relationship with. Anyway, have a good day. Bye for now.